On Paul's tool review, I'm going to review the WISE 800 lumen white LED smart bulb. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how you can get up to seven of these bulbs from WISE for free. The key features of the WISE smart bulb are temperature control, dimmable, voice activated with Amazon or Google Assistant, and no hub required. Some important notes before buying these bulbs to consider. These bulbs can be dimmed directly via the WISE app or voice assistant, but the manufacturer doesn't recommend using a dimmer switch unless the switch is set to full power. These bulbs are only intended for indoor use. You must be on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection and it will not work on the five gigahertz connection. Make sure your phone is already connected to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi before you start the pairing process with the WISE app. And by that, I mean have it running on your phone. Expect the WISE app to push a firmware update to your new bulb immediately after pairing. I found this personally to be the case. And while these bulbs are more efficient than a standard 60 watt incandescent bulb, they still get hot to touch and only should be used in lamps that have good ventilation. There are two more considerations before purchasing these bulbs around compatibility and integrations. The first is you must be using Android 5.0 or greater or iOS 9.0 or greater on your device. The second is it only supports voice assistance from Amazon, Google, and if this, then that at this time. You still can manually control the bulbs directly from your WISE app, which you must install to configure everything. Life expectancy for the WISE smart bulb is 20,000 hours. At the time of this video, these WISE bulbs come in a single pack, which retails for just under $8, or four packs for just under $30, plus taxes and shipping. Amazon Prime retails the single pack for just under $12, and under $40 for the four pack, plus taxes. As for recommendations, I highly recommend this bulb, especially if you're getting a great deal on it. Uh, like all of Wise's products, they are good value for the money. I have several of their cameras and they've held up great over the years and you can't beat them for the quality and price, whether you buy them directly from their website or through Amazon. In the description, I'll include the links to the Wise bulbs from Amazon and Wise.com. All right, let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. There's a little piece of tape at the top. I've already cut through that. A bulb in a plastic bag. A small little instruction sheet. The rest is just packing. I'll put that aside. So the instructions they give you for setup are download the Waze application and create an account either through the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. So the, when you download the Waze application, you have to create an account if you don't already have one, and then you can proceed forward. You then want to install the light bulb into your lamp and power it on. And then it says open the Waze app and tap the three dots on the top right corner of the home page. Select add a product and follow the instructions in the Waze app to finish the setup. So it's going to walk you through it. There is some change to this since the Waze app has been updated since these instructions were printed. There's no three dots in the upper right corner. It's now a plus symbol I believe on the left but as we go through the setup I'll show you that on my screen. So the first step is I'm going to take our bulb and unwrap it. I think it's sealed with tape somewhere. Yep. And then I'm going to install it in a lamp. And here's the bulb. That's pretty heavy. I believe it's 4.6 ounces. And we'll install it into a lamp just to compare it to another LED bulb I have. There's another one right next to it, so it's a lot bigger. Again, this is the equivalent of a 60 watt, 80 lumens bulb. And this has colors from, I believe it's 2700K to 6500K. 
This is a 2700 uh, LED bulb, GE. I don't know. The limit. This is a half the limit. This is 480, a little more than half. So it's it's smaller. This one could be much brighter. But the good part is that when you after you install it and using the app, you can change the color from more of a yellowy soft color to a very bluish white color. Uh, they call it the yellowy daylight, and uh, I forget the other one's called. You could also lower the intensity and brightness down, so you can make it as pretty dim all the way up to full bright. When you put it in, it's going to go full bright. So. Okay, I'm going to put the new bulb into our lamp. The lamp is already on, so it should come right up. And sure enough, it comes on and it's full bright, as you can view. So from here, we'll switch over to our app and start controlling it. So the next step in the process is to install the Wise app on our phone. So I'm going to click install. And we'll pick up once it's ready to go. After you open the Wise app, you'll be presented with the login screen. Where you'll put your credentials in. If you don't have it, you'll click that link at the bottom where it says sign up. And then you'll create your login credentials. And after that, you can log in. Now that you're logged into your WISE app, the screen will look something like this. The instructions say tap the three dots in the upper right to add a new device. However, there is no, there aren't any dots in the upper right. Instead, we're going to tap the plus symbol in the upper left up here. So let's do that. Once you do that, it'll be presented with three options, uh, four options. We're going to select add device. And we'll select Wise Bulb. Then the instructions read, turn your light on and off three times to pair the bulb. The bulb will pulse once it's in pairing mode. So I'm shielding the camera from the bright light that it's on right now, but I'm going to cycle the switch three times. And then you'll see it pulse from a soft yellow light, very dim, all the way up to a very bright white light like it is now. One, two, three. So you'll notice it'll go dimmer to brighter to dimmer. So we're now in pairing mode. On our app, we just have to hit the next button. It'll ask if you want to allow your location, hit OK service device location I don't care you put all the time it should have your network filled in if not enter your information again this needs to be your 2.4 gigahertz network not your 5 uh, gigahertz network and we're good to go now it says we need to look for the Y smart bulb app XXX when we go to the network and select that so choose the Wi-Fi and there it is so we're going to connect here and the phone is going to try to connect to that bulb on android we're going to get a warning it says i'm connected to this internet but there's no wi-fi you still want to do it and we'll say keep wi-fi connection you will then say connected without wi-fi that's fine so we'll hit the back button and back again so we'll just go right to waves it'll say connecting this could take a minute so right now my bulb is on full power and it's solid at this point it's prompting us for a name I'll just give it a name I'll call it um, M B R2 for now. And I'll hit finish. You could pick one of the pre selected names. Share with fam family member. You could share it here. You could do that later. So I'll select maybe later. And now it, this is the famous a new firmware version is available. Please upgrade to get the latest features. So 
you can hit update. It has a little note. You can do multiple bulbs if you have them. So we'll just do this one. Hit the latest, hit upgrade. It says the upgrade could take up to five minutes. It's usually quicker than that, but I will spare you guys all that. When the firmware is done, it'll you'll get a message that says your firmware is up to date and installed. So we just have to click the back button. And now we have our lamp. And let's see, we turn it on or off. We can now control the bulb. Again, it's pretty bright for the camera, but I have a slider here for brightness. I can adjust it all the way down. Adjust it all the way up. Put it in the middle. Usually I put it about 70% for my taste. So you can do whatever you want. And then you got from cool white, which I believe is 6,500 Kelvin, all the way down to about 2,700 Kelvin. You can adjust that. For now, I'll just leave it in the middle, maybe over here. We got one quarter in, something like that. And if you wanted to, you could add a scene. You can, you can click here and give it a name like soft white, whatever, and save it. Whatever you want to do. It's good to go. So you could have different scenes like, hey, give me uh, bright lights for reading and dim lights for uh, just watching television. The thing you do is you can rename it. You click the settings up here. And you can change the name like we called it MVR2. Let's say you want to call it something else. Just come down here. Again, I could do one of the quick keys or I could use my keyboard. And maybe call it and then you can hit save. Pretty neat. Update the firmware. Let's go back. Uh, it's set up. So we go back. We now have a lamp to set up. And it's on. Again, from the main screen of the Waze app. I can turn it off. I turn it on. If I go into it, I can adjust the brightness. So something I noticed when I was about to add it to the Amazon assistant whose name shall be nameless it already knew about the bulb we just added which was really cool because I did an earlier install from a different bulb so it already picked it up so while it's not fully configured in Amazon's assistant it's already here and I can control it now I don't have Amazon's assistant nearby to, to voice control it yet nor have I set that up but I can't control, I just want to show you guys that. So if I go to devices and I go to lights, here's the other one I've set up earlier and it's saying it's unresponsive and I'm way out of range from that. But the lamp is on and if I turn it off, yep, got dimmer and turned off. I could turn it back on. Let's see if you notice it on camera differences. So that works already. So I can already start to program this and I can program it for voice and uh, different routines and scheduling and I can group them together. But for your case, what I think you'll have to do is when you install it into the voice assistant is it, you'll, you'll go up to here. So this is how you would look for devices. Actually go to home screen, right? And you'll want to install a new device, right? And you'll say add device. And you'll scroll through and you'll look for a light. And for some reason it doesn't add it to the list, nor will it be here. So then you would say other. And then you would hit discover devices. And if it still discover, doesn't discover any devices after this thing runs, you may have to add the wise skill. So by adding the wise skill to the assistant. You don't know how to control cameras and bulbs and plugs and a whole bunch of other stuff that they make. I already have the skill installed, so 
it's just going to find other things maybe that are in range. Uh, we'll see what it comes up with. But again, if it comes up with nothing, that means usually that the uh, voice assistant skill needs to be added. So you, you'll, it'll give you a link to do that. You'll click search for it, add it to it, and then you go back through to add device and discovery. So this is what you, this is what it'll see when you can't find any new devices. Try discovery again, get help, customer service, email, etc. Uh, but but there was a skill that you could add. Let's see if I can find it. Skills and games. So you go to here, and then you can add whatever skill. So one of my skills has been updated, but I can look at my skill. And you'll need the wise skill right there. Right, that needs to be there. Then it'll discover it and find it, and then you can add it uh, to your voice assistant. So if I want to add this light to my voice assistant, as well as group it with the other light, so I have two lamps in that room, and I want them both to come on and off, I can do that. I simply need to go to Amazon's devices. I have a group called Master Bedroom. Click that. And right now you see one lamp that's there, but it's out of range, and that's fine. But I need to set up another one. So I'm going to click at the top right called Edit. And I can add another lamp, and there it is. So I can click this one. And now it's there. And I can hit Save. It's as easy as that to add it to your voice assistant grouping. So in theory, I could come up to my master bedroom and all lights are supposed to be on. Even though one is not reachable and I could tell it to go all off. And I'll get dim and I could tell it all on. If I had other things besides lights, you can control that, but that's fine. There's only two lights in that room. So all lights are on. And now we could set up a voice control routine to control that. What I'm going to do now is set up a routine. I'm going to add this lamp to my uh, already existing routine. So I'll click down here, go to routines. And I have one for lights on and lights off. So let's do lights off first. If I click this one, it should be able to edit it. I can. And I have I set up whatever I want to call it. it. It has the words I want to use, such as lights off. And right now there's only one action, which is the other lamp turns it off. But let's add one. So I'll hit the plus symbol here. And I need to go down to Smart Hub, I believe. Smart Home. Hit lights. Pick the other one. Hit next. And you can control brightness and color temperature and stuff. I don't think I would ever do that, but I could set up ones for that. I just want power. And this is off. Let's set this one off. And then click next. So now when I do that keyword, it should turn off both lamps. Let's do the other one. And I have one for on, so click on the on. We're going to edit the action. Go down to Smart Home. Click Lights. Click Lamp 2. Hit Next. Hit Power. And that'll be on, that is correct. Hit Next. It's all set. So it's enabled, it's ready to go. And it's as simple as that. It's saved and ready to go. So I can control it all from here without saying the magic words that wake up the machine. But if I wanted to kill both lights off, I could just tell it to do that. And yep, the light down here went off. I'm sure the one, the other one went off. And I could turn them both back on. And of course I could test it with voice commands. I uh, just don't want to trigger everybody's uh, voice assistant. For those looking for COVID-19 hard to find items such as disposable face masks and no touch thermometers, WISE has sourced some of these products that they will ship directly from their website 
including shipping. Well, I will include the links to these products in the description below. Now for the free wise bulb offer. Wise.com is offering a free bulb for every $20 that you spend up to seven bulbs maximum. Use coupon code light up my life. All you have to do is enter the coupon code during checkout on wise.com. You will see a wise bulb get added to your card at the cost of zero for every $20 that you spend on any of their products, including cost of shipping for the free bulbs. The free wise bulb promo will end on June 1st at 11:59 p.m. Pacific. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Thank you.